There's a saying that success breeds failure. And what that means is that when you're having success and you're doing things that are helping you achieve your goals, often we don't deviate from those. Um, we obviously have seen how um, certain actions can help us be successful and then we'll stick with them even when things around us have changed. What ends up happening is that although we're still doing the same things that helped us be successful before, now we're struggling to find the same success and eventually start failing much more often. This happens a lot when it comes to coaches and coaching. Uh, I hear it all the time from coaches. Uh, it's said quite a bit that you know this is how I've always done it. All my teams throughout the years, this is what I've done. And I always think that's an interesting statement because, you know, like our players that we're working on, we want them to continue to grow and develop and change year after year. Every year, uh, learn a little more, uh, develop their skills. And each season, we'd want them to be a little bit of a different player, playing in a little bit of a different way, a little bit of a higher level. So coaching should be the same way. I think if coaches really take a look at themselves and, and see what we do from year to year, if we have not changed much over the last even just season, but if we're talking about years, then we're probably not coaching up to our potential. Things may have worked in the past and may be having some success still um, in the present, but most likely with how quick the game changes um, and things evolve over time, if you're not constantly evaluating and changing what you do, you're not nearly working and, and coaching the potential you can. So the same expectations we have on players that every time they come to training, every season they're a little better, a little sharper, can do a little more, um, a little more versatile of a player, understand the game better, and that changes them. And as coaches, we have to have that same mindset that we don't just do the same things over and over again because they helped us have success once or twice. Every year, after every season, we look at what we do and we see how we can get better. Part of that's also is that Every time we step on the field with a team, year after year, each team is different. Kids change, personalities change. Um, you know, coaching a team 10 years ago to coaching a team now looks and feels a lot different. Kids are different. So how have you adjusted your coaching approach, your style, your philosophy to fit the modern player, the modern kid, the modern family, the modern club? Or are you still doing things the same way you did 10, 15 years ago? Um, so... Very important thing for us all to think about, um, you know, kind of at every level, you know, as a director, as a coach, parent, um, when it comes to, you know, helping kids, you know, within the game is, you know, although some things have worked in the past, may have worked for you um, when you were younger, um, we have to always evaluate and say, is that still what would work the best today? Or is there something I'm missing? Is there something more I can do if I, you know, just stretch myself and reach a little beyond what I'm comfortable with? and um, try to continue to grow um, you know, as a coach to help my team uh, be as successful um, you know, as possible each time they step on the field.